Welcome to another edition of the Social Impact Podcast with me, Keenan Williams. In this edition, I speak about how bullying can ultimately lead someone to change their lives so drastically that they undergo millions of dollars worth of plastic surgery, have their ribs removed and keep chasing the wind for happiness, only to find comfort in a thin, small voice which is their own. Welcome to the Social Impact Podcast. How happy are you with who you are? Also, are you really the person you are meant to be or are you pretending to be someone else? Now, working as a content radio producer in the radio industry, I've come across very strange and wonderful people with very interesting stories from Vinnie O, whose wish it was to become a genderless alien by removing his genitals, to Martina Big, who had undergone several surgeries to turn her white skin into a black skin. She wanted to enlarge her lips, change her eye color, change the texture of her hair, and enlarge her breast size. Now, many such stories are making headlines daily around the world of people trying to be their truest selves by undergoing radical surgeries to better themselves and to be and feel more comfortable in their own bodies. Now, recently I watched a clip of Rodrigo Alves, also known as the Ken doll, who had had four of his ribs removed, also that he could have smaller hips and avoid having his blazers and jackets tailored. True story. Another interesting somebody online is British-born Kerry Miles, who had undergone several procedures to make her look more like Barbie. Now, listening to interviews with Kerry, she says that bullying in her youth left her insecure the way she looked and she had to begin working on herself. In a recent chat which aired on this morning, Rodrigo Alves also said that he was teased about his appearance in his youth. Now it seems that the common factor in many of these stories is that many of the people who undergo them are insecure and just want to be accepted and happy in the skin they find themselves in. Now I wonder whether many of these people would go for the procedures if their lives had turned out differently while growing up, if they were teased about being that fat chested or flat chested or fat or skinny or short or whatever names they were called, would they still be uncomfortable with who they are, with the people they are? Now, bullying obviously leaves a lot of hurt and a lot of pain in a lot of people. It's not just a spur of the moment thing for someone to book an appointment with a doctor and have four ribs removed, ribs which are there to protect your lungs, your livers, your kidneys and other vital organs. Now the question arises once again, how happy are you really with the person you are? Now I believe very much that hurt people hurt people and loved people love people. So if you only know hurt, you won't be able to love and when you only know love you won't be able to hurt someone else. That is my methodology and it's a methodology that many other people stand by as well. So understanding this correctly is that people who bully, abuse and assault others are hurting and the only way for them to cope and carry on with life is to hurt others themselves. This is not just an excuse to many of the situations but it can sum up much of why some people do what they do to others. Now being a victim of bullying and a low self-esteem myself, I have found it very difficult especially reaching my teenage years and early adulthood to accept myself. The hurt perpetrated by my peers was harsh. I didn't have much friends growing up and the name calling which later escalated left me feeling rather lonely and depressed. And as a performer I would go up onto the stage and develop different personas also that I need not be myself as I was afraid that I would be teased and further ridiculed and insulted for being my true self. I was lucky to however relearn how to love and accept myself all over again but it wasn't easy it was a process it took some time for me to speak in my own voice again and to dream bigger and to finally be the person that I should be now bullying is hurtful it it kills the soul and it sucks the life from the victim but learning about why people hurt people can also teach a former victim of the abuse to also pray for and forgive the bully 
who they themselves are hurting. That is the only way to move forward. Yes, I could work on myself and I could relearn to accept and love myself all over again. But the real process was to go back and to forgive those people who had said and done those hurtful things to me. There are still some days where I would feel a little depressed. It's, it's part of life, I guess, and part of growing up. But I'm finally at a stage where I am able to look at the young man in the mirror, look him in the eye and say, I love you and I accept you for who you are, what you are and what you're destined to become. Each day is a process and I was privileged enough to find myself to free myself from from being a victim and to stand up and to rise up and to speak out and to tell my story and to finally be a victor. Now in conclusion, we have we have all experienced some sort of hurt in our lives. May it be a fight with a friend or someone calling you a hurtful name or being physically, psychologically and verbally abused at one or other stage in your life. But each of us no matter who we are, have the responsibility to show others what love is, to show them that that we care. And sometimes our hurt is so deep that our voices are hidden. And the only way for us to be heard is for others to speak out and to speak up for us. Sometimes their voices are a lifeline to us. And the only way for us to be able to, to speak out for ourselves is to amplify the lives we were meant to live and to reignite the spark which is your and my future. It is in in our hands, it's on our lips, the words we speak, the things we say, the things we do, and I ask again, are you happy with who you are?